in this problem, ladies and gentlemen, it's just asking us to factor, right? One of the first things you guys need to remember when we're looking into factoring something is try to factor out common terms, what we call our greatest common factor. So you want to see what they have in common. We have two terms separated by subtraction. We want to see, is there any number or variable that these two terms share? And do we have anything, Kimberly? Three. So I can factor out a three. And basically, factoring out a three is like dividing out a three. And you can always check your work by, again, using distributive property. Three times m squared is 3m squared. Three times negative 3 is negative 9. Now, you always want to see, can you further factor this down? And this might be uh, enticing because you can see a squared term minus another term, where it looks like a squared minus b squared, right? Which is a difference of two squares, which is a um, special product or special factoring technique that we use. However, m squared is squared, but is b is 3 a square number? No, so we can't do it. So therefore, this is the final factored form. And that's as far as you can go. You can't factor that any further.